I got a message on Facebook today for somebody who has a two-way top cabinet, and they were noticing that at cranked up high volumes, it was clipping really easy, and it was showing on the LED display on the back that it was at peak. And they didn't understand why. They thought they needed a bigger speaker. And I asked them, are you using a high-pass filter on the speaker? They said, no. I said, well, that's probably part of your problem, especially at high volumes where you're pushing a whole bunch of juice into the speaker. What is a high-pass filter? Well, you are typically looking at highs, mids, and lows on your speaker system. When you send a full range signal to a speaker like this, it tries to produce highs, mids, and lows. It doesn't do a great job at that super low stuff, meaning the sub bass. It's not a subwoofer, it's a top cab. So crossing over at 100 hertz on something like a top cab can help it a lot. That means that none of the sub bass is being sent to a top cab like this. It's only receiving everything 100 hertz and above, like the mid bass, the high mids, and the highs, which is what this speaker does very well. Think of it like this. Your mid bass is that punchy stuff that you hear in dance music, that poochie, 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 poochie. That's cool bass, and this cabinet produces it very well. But then you have your sub bass that's like doom, 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 doom. That's produced best by a subwoofer. Now, when you ask the woofer on a two-way top to produce both the and the do 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 do, you're asking it to do a lot of things. And the excursion on that sub bass it makes the woofer go crazy. So. It doesn't perform very well, and it can overdrive the system pretty quick. So if you cross it over, it helps. It helps improve the sound. Even if you're not running a sub, you're not really going to notice the lack of sub bass through a cabinet like this. What you are going to notice is incredible mid bass if you do cross it over with that high pass filter. So now that I've talked about this a little bit, how do you do it? It depends on the system you're using. Now, sometimes if you're using a subwoofer, with a top cabinet, a powered subwoofer will automatically be crossed over at about 100 hertz. And if it has a high pass out on the subwoofer, it's only signaling a signal 100 hertz and above to the top cab and you're crossed over. Now, on some of these newer speakers with these DSP menus in the back, it has a built in high pass filter. This is an Electro Voice EKX12. I'm going to show you what it looks like on this speaker. So on this particular menu, you press down on this knob and then you scroll down. On this speaker, it's represented as sub and I think that's just to make life easier for layman's like me. You can see sub is off. So when you send a signal through the speaker, it's going to be full range and the speaker is going to try to produce full range unless we tell it otherwise. So if I press down on this and I scroll, I've got a few options. Here's an 80 hertz crossover there's a hundred and there are more you can choose from and you can even select some specialty subs that you may have from Electro Voice just to make it real easy so it's optimum for whatever the sub you have is or crossed over at an optimum level but for our purposes today we're just going to do what we talked about and we're going to cross over at 100 Hertz now when we send a full range signal to the speaker it's only going to produce frequencies 100 Hertz and above. So what if you have a system where you have a subwoofer with a high pass filter and you have a top cabinet with a high pass filter, which one do you run? They're redundant. You don't have to run both, but you can. It's not going to hurt anything. I would advise go ahead and run both because sometimes you're going to run a system with the sub. Sometimes you're going to run a system without the sub. And when you're running it without the sub, if you have the ability to do that 100 hertz crossover on your top cabinet, do it. It's going to help. So I hope this video helps somebody. Remember, every system is going to be a little different. So, you know, check. Check your owner's manual and find out where that high pass filter is and use it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.